<laughs> so today um, I want to talk about something I want to talk about something that I've been meaning to talk about for the longest time and I don't know even where to start, where, how to start, but it's long overdue. So, so I want to talk about depression. Um, as someone who is a depressed and have my episodes of depression and anxiety I would like to talk about this because I know that I'm not the only one who is suffering for that from this I know that it's not easy <laughs> I know I know I know I know um, one thing I hate about this uh, disease is I can be happy I know that I can be happy as I am right now, I am happy. I am at peace. I am at, like, I am happy. You understand? But in that happiness, in my happy place, there's this little voice that is telling me, you don't deserve it. You don't deserve it. You don't deserve it. And I don't understand why. Because people will tell you, oh, no, uh, happiness is a choice. No, 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 but... <laughs> Have you ever been happy and felt guilty for being happy? That's what I'm going through. That's just how my depression is. And most of the time, most of the time, I can feel my episodes coming. Not all the time, but most of the time, I can feel my episodes coming. And I don't even know how to explain them. And I don't know how to explain to someone that... I think I'm going to be depressed. I think I'm going to have my episodes. I think I'm going to have my episodes. And because I've dated people who I would literally tell them, Mario, this was going to happen. I don't know when, I don't know how, I don't know why, but I'm going to be feeling like that. Like I'm going to be behaving like this for some reason. I'm going to be doing certain things for some reason and I would like to have space for myself for my peace for my just I, I, can I just be myself I don't know when happen I might just start being moody like every time I, I start in a relationship I, I I start or rather a new relationship I am upfront about my depression and anxiety I tell the person I tell the other person that yo this is what this is what's happening in my life uh, somewhere along the line I will be feeling like this and I will be doing certain things and what I would like you to do is just give me space. If that's hard for you to give me space, uh, allow me to feel what I feel. Because if I don't feel or go through that at that point, if I don't go through that at that point, it's, going, it's not going to be pretty for the both of us the relationship is not going to be as fun as it should be uh, at certain days um, I I I'm one of those people who needs time to process things I'm an overthinker I I'm a very doubtful person I doubt myself I doubt everything that I do most of the time 95% of the time I doubt everything that I do I have TikTok I don't know how many times I have to shoot my TikToks and then upload them 
like i have to i i don't know it's, it's just me like it's just me like what if people don't like me what if people i just even my my youtube channel like it takes time for me to be on stuff okay this is what i'm going to do this, i'm going to upload this video because i'm, I'm scared and I don't even know how to explain it, but like it's so hard for me to just put myself out there and be like, oh my god, this is me, this is Kay, this is the person that, this is me, because I'm afraid that if I allow myself to be happy, the following day I'm going to be super sad, and I won't even, I won't even know how to explain or why I'm upset. Or mad or sad or whatever the feelings that i will be i'll be angry at myself i'll be angry at everyone i'll be just angry and it's 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 tiring it's tiring because you try you try you try to be the pos this positive this happy this bubbly person that you try to maintain it rather not try to be you try to maintain it um i've been depressed for the longest time i don't even remember the last time i was being i was like oh my god yes yay <laughs> you know but it is what it is at the end of the day i have to deal with it this is my life this is what's happening okay <laughs> that was good this is my life this is what's happening and I just need for me relationship wise i just need someone who i just need someone who understands that i have depression anxiety my anxiety on another level is on another level because that is like a sneak attack like anxiety is just a sneak attack for me um there are times where i would tell myself that i'm going to do this and I will do this, but come due date, <laughs> anxiety will be like, yes, I'm back, <laughs> you know. So it's it's hard, it's hard, and then you have to explain to people, who you're this is like, this is hard. This is, I don't know, I don't know how. It, it's like, it's like you you're out of your body and looking at yourself, failing at life. That's just how I explain it. This. But it makes sense to me but that's just how i see myself i will be when my anxiety attacks it's like i'm looking at myself failing and it's like it's not just me but everyone else is literally behind me looking at me fail and that's that's the toughest thing ever because with with my depression my episodes like I can try to be like okay, but like when I'm anxious, when like my anxiety is like <laughs> I'm here. Ooh, no, I I I shut down. I live by the gate. My apartment is literally by the gate, so man, it's hard. <laughs> it's hard, right? anyway um the past year i have been depressed almost or rather i've been having my episodes almost every month and it was hard i ended up cutting my hair like my previous video i was i was out of it i was out of my mind i didn't know what to do with myself anymore um i ended up cutting my hair and i felt good for a few days and then i felt like okay man let me change my hair color but then i didn't go through with it because what will people say i'm joking <laughs> i don't care what people will say especially with my looks especially with my looks i don't really care what people will say my thing is i judge myself I worry more about what I think about myself, which doesn't make sense, but it does. Uh, it's hard to accept myself, you know, like I am so insecure about so many things that 
it, it, it's amazing. You know, it's amazing. It amazes people when I tell people about my insecurities and they're like, what? But it is what it is for me. Um, so yeah. <sighs> What I want to say is, you are not alone. <laughs> we are here. We are depressed. Uh, we are going through the most. See a go, I'm guessing. Ah, <laughs> I see a go, I'm guessing. Um, so just keep believing, man. Don't give up. Don't give up. <laughs>